Hello and welcome to Wandering Wanda. It's a little bit windy so I don't know the wind is picking this up. We'll see how windy it can get when I play this back. Right today we're gonna set up setting up. So we're gonna do electrical, set up the electrical, the water, and we're gonna connect the sewer. So follow along as I do this for the very first time. All right, here we go. I don't know what the surge protector is doing, but right now it says delay. And the caution light is flashing. So I guess I have to wait until, until it says power on. I haven't read the manual. <laughs> so I'm gonna guess that I have to wait until it says power on. Right now it's just flashing, delay, delay. So in the meantime, I'm gonna go get the, um, the sewer hose. Is that what you connect first, second? Okay, I'm gonna go get sewer hose. I bought several kinds of different gloves from Walmart because practically everywhere. So I wanted to make sure that I can get disposable gloves throughout the country and parts of Canada and I didn't bring the other ones I tried them on I didn't like them they felt cheap or too thin I either ripped them or even the extra large which I don't know why they don't sell extra large gloves my hand is not that big but I'm pudgy it's pudgy I have pudgy hands hey, look Anyway, so this is the gloves I ended up liking. They're called Venom Steel. And they're rip resistant, so my hands won't rip it. 
the other gloves my hands were ripping through them or they were just too tight don't like it anyway disposable gloves this is the one that I prefer I got it at the hardware section at Walmart and these are the ones I will be using for for sewer again disposable gloves even though the sewer things have never been touched before however valve behind me I don't know who's been there everyone else is shit oh look power's back on it says power on so we're gonna plug in once we get the other one Lock and unlock. <laughs> There's a red light. Red light is on. I just remembered from, and this is a tip from KYD, keep your daydream that you do super last, so put these on immaturely. Oh well. Okay, next we're gonna do the water. This we've already gone over from the outdoor stuff video, but the white hoses that they gave us, I don't like them. They don't fit my little bin. And this right here, this is 50 yards. Look how soft and agile it is. And it fits in my bin. But look, 50 yards. This is it. I don't know why manufacturers don't do this for RVs. Instead, they give you this white cord that is impossible to wind up. And it's very hard to manage. I don't get it. I see them all over the place here. You know what? It's a freaking cord. It's, it's just a cord or, or a hose. No big deal. You know what? As a kid, I drank out of a hose. <sighs> okay, here we are at the water. it with Lysol to disinfect it. Got this as a tip from, oh, I can't remember. Wait, Lysol. Okay, this is the water pressure regulator I'm gonna use. This was the one that's included, not free, included with the Airstream. So it looks like people put tape on. wondering you just wrap it around once you don't wrap 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 just one time around
and tighten. Potable water. I don't think 50 in a box is gonna be enough for me. We're gonna get, we're gonna need like 200 of these things. We're putting the gloves on as a practice, even though nothing has been shit on yet, except this. Connect the ground part first. connected everything 
I'm not going to open the valves right now only because, and this is going out to you Airstream. One says main holding tank and the other one says auxiliary holding tank. Why doesn't it just say gray and black? I mean, that's what everyone else refers to it in the RV community. The, the RVology, I guess that's what they, I don't know what it is. I'm making that word up. It's my new word, RVology. Every time there's an RV industry word, I'm going to call it RVology. Anyway, the RVology is gray and black. Why don't they say gray and black? I don't know which one to pull. It's one the shit and the other one the the sink. They should say one that's shit and sink or toilet and sink. Now I gotta go read a manual. I don't like that. So in parentheses, put something else down. Now I gotta go get a label maker and label that thing. Okay, that goes out to Airstream. All right. <laughs> well, I hope you got something out of this. And thank you for watching Wandering Wanda. Alright, bye!